Hey guys, it's your boy Listledge here. Thanks for the big 2-0 subs. But in this episode, we're going to be looking at uh, biscuits. But what are biscuits? So I'm not sure exactly what they are. They're a bit like, I describe them as hard cake. So where exactly can you eat a biscuit? So, you know, don't restrict yourself. Like, so you can eat a biscuit in the kitchen. Um, like this lady might be doing. Have a biscuit in the office place. Maybe reading a nice book. You could have a, a biscuit with that. And of course with um, with tea. And that's just some, that's a picture of some ice cream because I ran out of pictures of biscuits. Anyway, let's get to the top 10 lists because I know you're quite excited. So number 10, the bourbon. Overrated, in my humble opinion. It's a decent biscuit, good dunkability, but people hail it as some kind of godlike biscuit. It's not, okay? Number nine, the ones that say nice on them. Uh, not sure what they're called. Ironically, they're not actually that nice. I would say they're mediocre. Probably doesn't fit on the top. They're probably the most arrogant biscuit there is out there. Okay, so number eight, the Jaffa cake. Now, is it a cake or a biscuit? is probably what you're wondering. How do you tell if something's a biscuit? Well, I think you can sort of leave it out. One of them goes hard and the biscuit and the biscuit's soggy and then you see so you got in it. Did you know that Jaffa cakes don't have Jaffa oranges in its apricot pulp? Number seven, Oreos. I don't know where these guys came from. I was minding my own business growing up in England and suddenly there were Oreos everywhere. They're actually quite nice, yeah. Did you know, though, they're vegan? You wouldn't have thought because the cream in the middle is that it's a, it's actually a lie. Number six, a Kit Kat. Potentially, it could be classified as a chocolate bar, but I think it's so good that it crosses boundaries of food categories, okay? Also, I was checking the wiki, and I can assure you that at least two times within the wiki, it is referred to as a biscuit. So I'm going to rest my case there. Thank you. Number five is the Mars bar. I'm joking, that's definitely not a biscuit. It's actually chocolate digestive. Now I'm not sure why I put that one in there because it's quite bland. I'll be honest with you, it was mainly peer pressure. Number four is the Hobnob, or the rustic digestive, as I like to call them. They're very similar to the digestive, but they've got a bit more oomph about them. I think they're healthy because I've seen like little seeds and stuff in them once, so. Also, it's got the word knob in, so that's kind of bonus points. Number three is the Jammy Dodger. Uh, is... Number two is the Custard Cream, a high quality biscuit. The cream inside those things crack or something because they're so good. I don't know about you, but I cut them in half, eat the biscuit without the cream on first. I don't even particularly like it, just get rid of it. And then I savour the creamy goodness side which kind of led to an idea for a kickstarter. I was thinking maybe custard creams with only one bit of biscuit per biscuit. Or maybe just the stuff in the middle like in a pot. The best biscuit uh, in the world is the rich tea. No, I'm joking. That's another joke. That's f***ing f right off. A waste of time if you ask me. The real number one is the cookie. Now, is that a subcategory of biscuits all on its own? I don't know. The fabric of the biscuit itself is slightly different, slightly softer. So yeah, they're, they're good. I'm also gonna do the best dunker. I'm gonna give that prize to ch uh, the Chocolate Digestive. So, well done. Oh, let me know, comments below, what to 10 top things best in the world le list should I do in the next future? Cheers.